Hi, my name is Jeff and this is a video on how to take down a tree with just some hand tools and a rope rather than an excavator. I want to take down the tree and its roots. Now, I did have a whole bunch of trees removed and I needed this one other tree. Sorry for all you tree lovers, but it's right in the middle of my proposed driveway and it's got to go. So the guy with the excavator said, well, I'd have to rent one. It cost $2,800. And I wasn't willing to pay all that, so I decided to take it down myself. And I have a tractor which I can help pull it down, but I don't have a front end loader, so I had to manually dig everything out myself. I exposed all the roots. I'm going to cut it with a chainsaw. So let me show you that. So here is the tree. That yellow strap in front of it. You can see how tall it is. It's kind of tall and skinny tree. That's because it was in a grove of trees that blocked out a lot of the light. So it had to grow tall and thin to reach the sun. The, uh, but it's still a fairly big tree. It, the diameter is 16 inches. Here are the roots that I exposed down there. I'll show you all around there. And I'm going to cut those with a chainsaw, all those exposed roots. The way that I exposed all those is with these manual tools, pickaxe, a uh, spade, there's a what they call a post hole digger, but it helps with a post hole digger and it's got a tamper on the end of it, but I used the sharp end of it to uh, loosen up the dirt in between the roots so I could expose them because I wanted I just didn't want to dig down into the dirt with my chainsaw. I wanted to make sure I was underneath them before I began to cut and so that's going to be my next plan. Way up at the top I put that up there with first a string and then a rope and then I put these the strap up there and I'm going to use that to pull the the tree down. Now here are the results of my cuts. You can see the all the roots that I've cut. Those will unfortunately be left behind. If I was really desperate I could come back and dig those up, pull those up if I wanted to. So now I have my tractor connected up to it and I'm just going to pull it down see what happens. Ranger! Go home! Let's go check out the damage.
Well, there, there it is. Most of the root is out of it. There's some big roots sticking out the side, but the majority of the root ended up being pulled out. Couldn't do it with a come along, but I was able to do it with the tractor. And once the tree began to fall, began to lean over, it just, you saw it just sit there for a little while until the tree itself uprooted itself. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, have any, I know that if you had an excavator, you could probably have done that in five minutes, but this is just a video to show you you could do it with an out excavator if you just put a lot of work into it.